In Buddhism, the concept of heaven is not a permanent or eternal realm in the way it is often understood in some other religious traditions. Instead, Buddhism teaches about various realms of existence within the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, known as samsara. These realms are collectively referred to as the six realms of existence, and they include realms of gods, demigods, humans, animals, hungry ghosts, and hell beings. The realm that is commonly associated with a more favorable and pleasant existence is the realm of gods, Devas. In this realm, beings may experience a high level of pleasure and luxury, but it is not considered the ultimate goal in Buddhism. According to Buddhist teachings, even the godly realms are subject to impermanence and the cycle of birth and death. The ultimate goal in Buddhism is to attain nirvana, which is a state of liberation from the cycle of rebirth and suffering. Nirvana is beyond the realm of gods and is characterized by the cessation of craving, ignorance, and suffering. It is a state of perfect peace and liberation from the cycle of samsara. Nirvana is a central concept in Buddhism, representing the ultimate goal of the spiritual journey. Here are key aspects to understand about Nirvana. Meaning of Nirvana Cessation of Suffering Nirvana is often described as the cessation of suffering, Dukkha. It is a state of perfect peace, tranquility, and freedom from the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, samsara. Cessation of Craving Nirvana is achieved by overcoming craving, tanha, and attachment, which are identified as the root causes of suffering in Buddhism. It involves breaking free from the cycle of desire and aversion. Nature of Nirvana Beyond Concepts Nirvana is often described as beyond conceptual understanding. It is not a place, state, or condition that can be grasped or defined within the ordinary framework of language and thought. Unconditioned and Unborn Nirvana is considered unconditioned and unborn, meaning it is not subject to the limitations of conditioned existence. It is not produced or caused by external factors. Attaining Nirvana The Eightfold Path The Eightfold Path is the prescribed way in Buddhism to attain Nirvana. It consists of right understanding, right thought, right speech, right action, right livelihood, right effort, right mindfulness, and right concentration. Cultivation of Wisdom Wisdom, prajna, is a crucial component in the path to nirvana. This includes understanding the nature of suffering, impermanence, and the true nature of reality. Three Marks of Existence Impermanence, Anika Nirvana is free from the impermanence that characterizes all conditioned phenomena. Suffering, Dukkha Nirvana is the end of suffering, representing a state of complete liberation from unsatisfactoriness. Non-self, Anitta Nirvana is a state beyond the notion of a permanent, unchanging self. Types of Nirvana Nibbana with residue, Sopadisisa Nibbana this is the state of nirvana attained by an arhat, one who has reached enlightenment, where some mental and physical components remain until the end of their life. Nibbana without residue, Anupadasisa Nibbana. This is the final and complete nirvana attained at the death of an arhat, where all mental and physical components cease. Bodhisattvas and Nirvana Mahayana Perspective In Mahayana Buddhism, there is an emphasis on the bodhisattva path, where practitioners aspire to attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. The idea is that bodhisattvas postpone their own entry into nirvana until all beings can be liberated. Silent Liberation Nirvana is often described as unborn, unoriginated, uncreated, and unformed. It is a state of silence and tranquility, free from the turbulence of conditioned existence. Understanding Nirvana is central to grasping the profound goals and aspirations of Buddhist practice. It represents the culmination of the path towards the end of suffering and the realization of ultimate truth. Different Buddhist traditions may have nuanced interpretations of Nirvana, 
but the core idea of liberation from the cycle of birth and death remains consistent. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.